All right, guys, welcome back. And today I'm answering the biggest question that I find on my channel right now. In my comments, whenever I go down there, there's always at least one or two people asking, should I get the Triton V2 or the Crack Racken? And this one is a fairly simple answer for me. Um, but first, I'm going to do a little in-depth of each of them and maybe give you a better idea of what you might like out of them and my personal opinion on which one you should get. Um, so first, we're going to start up with the with the Triton V2. Um, personally, I was expecting a lot more from this thing. I, I was a f bit disappointed in it when I got it. Uh, to be fair, this is a clone, so I don't know about the real thing. But um, I guess it's all right for flipping in terms of performance. I don't really like the sound, even when it's oiled up. Um, Overall, it's not really one of my favorites. I do like the color though. The color's really pretty. Um, the blade design, it's pretty cool. It's the same. It's pretty much identical to the original, but um, anyway, let's get to the more in-depth stuff. So when I first got it, after a few days of flipping it, the, the screws already started to come loose and fall out which is fairly annoying um, and usually my other battle songs that I bought they they took weeks or maybe even sometimes months before the screws start to came loose came loose before the screws start to uh, come loose but this one for some reason really had lower tolerance um, so far the pins are holding up though there's nothing wrong with them right now this one's a little falling out a little bit but Overall, it's fine. In terms of sound, it's all right. Um, if you really wanted a nice metal sound, this is not really the one for you. I recommend something else, uh, which is the Crack Racken in terms of sound, for me anyway. I like the ring, but mo I know a lot of people do silencer mods because they don't really like the ring. But yeah, your choice. Um, in terms of grip, it has absolutely no grip, which is a little annoying. It's like the Mako, um, so it slips out of your fingers really easily. Um, some people like that. They like the more sleek design, which, you know, I have no, no complaints about. Like, you like what you like, but for me, I like to have a lot of grip on my handles so that I don't drop it. But... You know, that's just my personal preferences. It's up to you. In terms of size, I think it's actually a reasonable size. Um, it, it feels good in my hands, and it fits in my hands, because I have, like, gigantic Sas Sasquatch hands. So this, I like that it's big. If it was smaller, it would have checked off all the terrible boxes. But this, in terms of size, is pretty good, actually. Um... And yeah, the price was, if I remember correctly, was like 150 RMB, which is roughly like 35 bucks, I think. I don't know, you, you can do the translation from USD to RMB, but it was roughly like 150 RMB, which I guess in terms of other knives that I've bought is a lot cheaper, but yeah, this, this review probably changed from my initial review on my other video. Um, but anyway, let's move on to, let me rearrange my hand, let's get out the Crack Racken. This is a completely different story for me. I think I actually am in love with this knife, or this trainer. Um, I have almost nothing bad to say about, about it, except that the screws come loose, which reasonable. I've dropped it a lot, but it they did come out pretty fast. Um I paid one let me think about this. Like 170, 175 RMB. Um but I think it was probably the best clone trainer I've ever had. It uses um washers just like the other one too. 
the Trident uses washers. Um, this thing, first off, has grip. Really good grip. This doesn't come out of your hands. Um, unless you drop it purposefully or doing aerials. But, oh. Um, in terms of size, it's actually massive. And I love that. I love having a massive knife. Um, but the sound is amazing. Which is a big W. Including the fact it's a clone. And also I have the new oil in it that I just bought. Um, which is amazing. Blade profile. Pretty accurate to the original. The pins haven't fallen out. Not even slightly coming out yet. I haven't dropped it. Well, I've dropped it a lot, but it's almost unrecognizable from a distance. And it also has these little side uh, bar indents that give a little more grip. Not too much, though. And they have the um, ladder grips. Overall, I think this is one of my favorite uh, knives ever. Or trainers ever just based on all the things it includes um, so let's get to which one you should buy oh. and I almost dropped my phone um, let me get out the Triton so which one should you buy I'm gonna drop my opinion right now I think this is the one you need to buy it is amazing performance it it has a crazy tolerance, so I've dropped it on concrete many times, and it still flips like new. Oops. And still, no tap. Whereas this one, I had it for a few days. It already has tap. Um, also, I love the design of this one. It's a lot more um, professional looking, in my opinion. But that's just my personal likings you could like the other one if you want uh, for the price since they're so close in price it's pretty much you'd be having so much more fun if you just paid the extra like five dollars to get this um, it's a lot just bigger a lot bigger and I don't know what I was gonna say it was it's just a lot better that's all I have to say about it and yeah, you guys need to make sure to subscribe. We're near, not really near 600 subs, but we'll get there. And thanks to you guys, I can get these knives. And yeah, let me flip this one a little more for you. Oops. Yeah. Anyway, crack rack and scuff or scuffed in a good way. Um, highly recommend it. Highly recommend it with the oil I bought. And yeah, see you guys. Make sure to subscribe and like. See ya.